transit. Right, so look here, bringing you another 1v1 on uh, for Supreme Commander. Um, this game intrigued me. I was just searching through the replays and I found this was a really high ranked game. Uh, relatively short, but um, really curious to see how this one goes. Um, we've got two players, Tex and Hachama Chama. Uh, Tex rank 2281 as you can see and Hachama Chama 2415. So I'm not really sure exactly how ranking works yet in Supreme Commander. I'm used to in Company of Heroes 2 where there's like a leaderboard you can see like rank 1 is you know basically the highest ranked player in the world at that time and so on right down to you know, whatever number you are in, in, on the leaderboard. This game does it the other way around so a high number means you're higher you're higher ranked and a low number means you're worst ranked. So um yeah very 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 kind of weird ranking. I haven't really run it yet but yeah you can see Hachama Chama is quickly building up his base with his UEF um putting down just again one power generator into a hydrocarbon and two engineers. And then he's probably oh, he's got cute. He's got one more engineer, so three engineers to start with. Interesting. No, right, it's got them on repeat. Okay, so he's gonna have a lot more very soon. You know Tex on the other side, um, is building a land factory with Ooh, some land scout, salt bot, salt bot, anti air, anti and artillery. Ooh. Let's keep up a lot more land factory by the looks of it. It's going for a more aggressive style of um, play. Almost stalling on his um, energy, but not quite. Ooh, he's, yeah, he's gonna stall. Ouch. That's gonna hurt. Stalling is generally pretty bad because then you run out of. Um, I think it does hurt your own, your mass income a little bit as well, since mass extractors require power to operate. So they operate at reduced efficiency. Uh, what else to say? Um, this is a custom map, I believe, with a ton of mass around it. Like this is just impractically high amount of mass. Like Jesus, you would you'd just be mass for Africa. So yeah, you can see why this will be a short game. You have so much resources that players will be able to quickly build large armies and swarm each other, potentially. Um, ooh, this uh, land scout has a cloaking ability which is currently disabled. Same with this one, it's again disabled, so it is spotted by this uh, medium tank, it's been destroyed. Uh, what else does comment about this game right at this stage? So, uh, well, where are the commanders? Still in base? Um, oh, no. Um, Tex is bringing up his commander to do some quick mass extractor builds. It's a build queue, a bunch of mixes. And he has claimed this middle point with some assault bots, which may give him a territory advantage early on. Meanwhile, Hachama Chama is expanding down the um, north and south, basically, going around the middle area. Always going more south, really. Which makes sense, easier to access that from his base. Both players have gone for a single um, air factory, by the looks of it. Always a good strat, Let's see what the enemy's doing. And then some cheeky bombing runs, pick up some engineers. Such a pain to deal with. I love how too how the, the, the UEF um, attack bomber does like a sort of napalm y kind of strike. Really good at hitting units. Sort of like a bomb. Very hard to get a bit of harassment against some mass points from uh, Tex. Already built some mass extractors in the ocean on the side, just as Tex is building his first naval factory on the far west. So, with this little raid from some uh, assault bots, Tex has basically cut off the whole 
southwestern front from uh, Hachama Shama's forces. Gonna add you to surround and nice and destroy these uh, mass reactors. He is fought by these um, tanks though. He had noticed them in time. Could have been a pull back this way and do some more harassment, but that's not to be. I'll probably lose them both. So I thought might be one next before they're caught up by the uh, really short zipped by these medium tanks. What are the commanders up to? Chama Chama's commander is um where is he? Up north as well, northeast. Not too far from Tex, he's built his own land factory tucked up behind his ridge. Nice little spot. And how's this name for coming along? Halfway done on his uh, first frigate, just about. Curious about the resources right now. Oh yeah, both pretty stable. Ooh, Texas running low on power. The power store at times it looks like. He's queued up more power buildings, but he doesn't. You know, they completed pretty quickly. We've got to get that positive again. Nice. Chama is looking quite healthy on supplies. Uh, it does look like, like a Chama Chama's mass income is much higher though. Look at the solar income, 7.1k. It's also back to the middle, so it's doing very well. Now, Texas is bringing in his ACU. Not really, it's just keeping it idle there. Could bring it in against this land factory, but. Choosing not to right now, I think that happens. I'm gonna try to pick off the engineer and start hammering away at the base of the land factory itself. And the Chama Chama is a bit too far away to intercept easily. The Chama Chama has his own navy in production, it looks like he's building a submarine. This is his first unit. Be good counter to this, um, the uh, frigates being pulled from Tex or oh, Texas commanders caught out just like that. A lot of tier one tanks swarming in, and they block him, block blocking as well. GG. Uh, so that's an easy win for Hachama Chama. Um, just some over extension from Tex, really, without any sort of support units nearby. These assault bots were way too far away to help out. He had these bots here too, again also too far, and nothing providing vision. So he had some aircraft, um, but it looks as if uh, Hachama Chama did have a slight edge. A couple of spare interceptors here sitting around that were able to provide. You know, he actually had some interceptors here. If he brought them over to provide a bit of vision, it might have made all the difference, but he didn't. So, a quick game for a Chama Chama of the UEF.